Our forecast for Thursday has something that is exceedingly rare, a winter thunderstorm. As we've only had 16 total thunderstorms in the month of January and February since the start of the year 2000. 12 of those have come in the month of February, so that averages out to one thunderstorm every other February. So what makes it so exceedingly rare? That's well, it has to do with our checklist that thunderstorms need to be produced. And during the winter months, we rarely ever see any of these. When it comes to moisture, we're going to have a very strong southerly wind tomorrow, pumping in quite a bit of moisture as well as those warmer temperatures. So we'll be able to check that off the list. However, during the winter months, well, of course, when we have any sort of moisture, the air temperature is below freezing. So any, any moisture that does occur, comes normally in the form of winter precipitation. When it comes to lift, well, it, this is really when we have the most stable and the least amount of lift, as cold air does not really like to move all too much, as we need hot air to rise. So when we have temperatures at the freezing mark, it's not gonna go upwards very easily. But tomorrow we're gonna have well, well above average temperatures, close to 25 to even 30 degrees in some places. So we were able to get a little bit of that lift and lastly, instability. Tomorrow we have a cold front making its way through in addition to a low pressure system. That's going to give us enough, enough instability to be able to produce a thunderstorm. Comparatively during the winter months, well, this is our most stable air mass, again, because cold air does not like to move upwards very easily. And speaking of rarity, it, it's very rare that we actually get a severe threat when it comes to the months of January and February, as we are currently under a marginal risk, and we've only other had seven times before today where we have had any sort of severe risk mentioned by the Storm Prediction Center. So when it comes to tomorrow, I'm not expecting overly too much. We do have a slight chance for a tornado or two. It's a slight sped up one that's not going to be very damaging. Large hail, still not overly impressed as we don't have a ton of lift in our atmosphere as we aren't anywhere close to like the 80 or 90 degree mark. But when it comes to high winds, forecasted wind gusts before any sort of storms are already going to be 35 to 40 miles per hour. So we add in a heavy downpour. I think those winds could start to move upwards into that severe category.